Right now, Fox 35 is working to learn when Ortho Wallace will make his first appearance in court. Wallace is accused of shooting 26-year-old Daytona Beach police officer Jason Rayner in the head Wednesday night. The 29-year-old went on the run but was captured early Saturday morning near Atlanta, Georgia. Police say Wallace was in hiding in a treehouse on property owned by a black militant group. Good Day Orlando has extensive team coverage on Wallace's arrest and Officer Rayner's improving condition. We begin with Fox 35's Dave Puglisi. He's in Georgia monitoring what's next for the suspect. Ortho Wallace was sleeping in a treehouse Friday night. Now he's sleeping in a jail cell. Wallace booked into DeKalb County Jail on Saturday morning just after 5 a.m. A light shines on the half-built treehouse perched in a heavily wooded area about 15 minutes from Atlanta, Georgia. Authorities from multiple federal and state agencies swarming the structure in DeKalb County to take Othel Wallace into custody. In the treehouse with Wallace was multiple flashbangs, rifle plates, body armor, two rifles, two handguns, and several boxes of ammunition. Wallace on the run for 56 hours is wanted in the shooting of Daytona Beach police officer Jason Rayner. Stop, stop, stop. The 29 year old adding this mugshot to his collection. Georgia State Patrol say Wallace cut his hair to disguise his appearance. Wallace taken into custody with Rayner's cuffs. Officer Rayner and his condition as of yesterday. There were uh, very positive signs of improvement. Daytona Beach police say the three acre property is owned by a black nationalist paramilitary group called NFAC. Wallace, AKA Ozone, had ties to the organization. His posts on social media appear to show talk of killing law enforcement. He actually did make a statement. What he said was, you guys know who I am. You know what I'm capable of, and it could have been a lot worse. Wallace may also have ties to another group called the New Black Panther Party. The Facebook of Dr. Malik Shabazz, who declares ties to the party, appears to show Wallace on an event poster for the group. In another of his posts, he refers to Wallace as Brother Ozone and says a person is innocent until proven guilty. Uh, he is in custody, and at some point he will be making his way back to uh, Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach Police thank everyone for all the tips that they sent in. In the end, they say it was surveillance and tech that got the job done. Wallace is expected to be extradited back to Daytona Beach, but a timeline has not been set for that. In DeKalb County, Georgia, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. The community is rallying.